you know, we made some tough, uh, made, made, I made some tough decisions, some tough changes, but I felt like I needed to do it for our program. So Navy's head coach said it was a one minute meeting during Navy football's media day and fan fest. I explained that some people had deemed the motto to be insensitive. Our captains didn't need to hear another word. The captains immediately said, coach, let's just change it. Navy's location, Annapolis, Maryland. You know what happened in Annapolis, Maryland? Four down. We now know the number to be five killed, all of them journalists, at least two more injured. Five people have been killed in this incident. The Gazette newsroom shooting, where the gunman fired a shotgun through the newsroom's glass doors and at its employees, killing five and injuring two others in a targeted shooting, according to police. He carried canisters with smoke grenades that he used in the building. The team's stadium, Navy Marine Corps Memorial Stadium, is less than three miles from the Gazette newsroom. Navy's motto was load the clip. Exactly what gunmen do. There is nothing more terrifying than hearing multiple people get shot while you're under your desk and then hear the gunmen reload. Donald Trump uses the press as a symbol of hate towards he and his bigoted xenophobic administration. Of note, because the victims were journalists and members of the media, he declined a request to lower the flags. Later, he spoke about getting rid of journalists on the anniversary of a shooting at the Gazette newsroom in Annapolis that killed five people. Load the clip. Exactly what the white supremacist El Paso shooter did with an AK-47. Load the clip exactly what the gunman did in Dayton, Ohio, not Toledo, when using an assault rifle for legal purchase. NRA blood money to Moscow Mitch, Massacre Mitch, or just corrupt Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell. And the thing was, Navy thought nothing about it. During an interview at the American Athletic Conference Football Media Day in mid-July, their captain said load the clip was designed to carry symbolism that speaks to the work ethic required to succeed on Saturdays. Until this, a Capitol Gazette reporter had inquired about the motto, prompting the head coach's meeting with senior captains. Carothers, the Gazette noted, was a plebe when his father, a veteran of the U.S. Marshal Service, was killed while leading officers who were making an arrest in 2016. Still, at first, although, as the Post calls it, leery, Navy's head football coach struck a tone of defending the motto and justifying it. Clearly, it's a metaphor that speaks to the fact we're going to battle every weekend. And when you go to battle, you need to have enough ammunition. It means you have to be prepared for the fight and that it is a process that happens every day. Understood, but no. Big fat no. Making the similarity of football players in war has never, ever been all right with me. During an episode of 24-7, formerly on HBO, Bernard Hopkins said boxing was like going to war. I understand the similarities, but the common denominators are still crystal clear. You enlist to go fight an enemy. You bring militarized weapons to shoot and kill and battle in real life trenches from gunfire, not the trenches of the offensive and defensive lines. Personally, it's disrespect and I've never been a fan of it. Onward, we sincerely apologize if it upset anyone but it was not meant to be taken the way it may have been by some. We understand that it probably wasn't appropriate considering the current climate and certain things that are happening in our society, said the head coach. A new motto was chosen, win the day, last week. At the end of the day, a motto is just words, and what really matters is what we do on the field, Higgins said. Eh, words matter. Ask the president. The last thing we should ask is the daily reminder of gun violence plaguing the United States where we claim to be so great, yet have no problem of innocent people being gunned down, not monthly, not weekly, but daily. In the 216 days of 2019 so far, there have been 251 mass shootings. The bottom line is we missed the mark here. The initial internal football team motto selected load the clip was inappropriate and insensitive to the community we call home, said Naval Academy Superintendent Sean S. Buck. It was wrong. The half apologies are empty to me. How about this? Next time, think about both sides and don't go with something called load the clip.